So, <clears throat> I can't say as I really appreciate these new threats by the Democrats. And I call them threats because whenever you say, do what we want or else, that's a threat. <laughs> so, this new thing is, there will be no judge replacement until after the election or else. If we ever get in charge again, we're going to make it to where we're in charge forever. That, that's essentially what they've just said. They said we're going to pack the courts. We're going to expand the courts to 5 million if we fucking feel the need to. And then beyond that, they want to make new states. They want to make Puerto Rico and D.C. a state. Now look, I don't know about Puerto Rico. I don't know the, the political affiliations of the people of Puerto Rico. I, I have no fucking clue. But I know D.C. is really fucking leftist. So... They want to pack the House and the Senate with more fucking leftists so that they can always have control of the House and Senate because they'll just be D20 fucking plus districts that they're going to make these states out of. And they'll do it with whatever they fucking feel the need to. They'll fucking divide California up into five different states. They don't fucking care. They do whatever it takes to keep them in power. They're threatening this. And what do you think happens when you, the people, continue to decide to not vote in their direction? How long do you think it's going to be before they just say, fuck you, no? And then we don't get to vote anymore. And because they're in power, and they can just say, fuck you, no! They can fuck with elections, and, uh, oh, everybody mailed in, and oh, I was fucked up again this year, so I guess Democrats just went everything again. Like, dude, <clears throat> this is how it's happening. This is how it happens. They're threatening to turn this into a one-party state. <laughs> That's the threat. We will pack the courts so that fuck you. What we say goes. We'll pack the Senate. We'll pack the House because fuck you. What we say goes. And if you don't vote for the president we want, we'll either just tell you to go fuck yourself or we'll impeach the motherfucker. Let you pick again, bitch. Uh, I don't react well to threats. I just don't. <laughs> I, I don't understand why anybody else in this situation would react any differently to me at this new threats. New threats. Do what we say or else. Fuck you. Look, here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. Mitch McConnell's an asshole. He should have said in 2016, I'm, no, I'm not going to approve anybody that asshole fucking puts forward. No. That's what he should have just said. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm holding out for a new president, hoping it won't be anybody with a D in front of their name. That, that's what he should have just said. He should have said fucking no. It's my prerogative. I can say no. And I'm saying no. But and, and then there you go. And then there wouldn't be this McConnell rule horseshit. He said fuck off. He's allowed to. That's his job. To say either fuck off or alright, we'll hear this person out. And he said fuck off. Somebody, I think it was Sticks, said that uh, Donald Trump <laughs> should nominate Merrick Garland. <laughs> just to fucking watch the Democrats' heads explode as they try to figure out how to explain that they're going to still say no to the guy that they're bitching about having some Mitch McConnell said no to. I thought it was brilliant. It made me laugh my ass off, but I don't really know Merrick Garland. I don't know if that would be a, a, a fucking good idea because, you know, the, the courts are now partisan. So, fuck it. We didn't make this shit this way. Obama did, and Clinton did. So, fuck it. Look, if you're going to change the rules and decide, oh, all of this tradition and all of this constitution, yeah, fuck all that, well, fuck you. Then we need to fight back. D don't fuck with shit. You fucked it up, now it's fucked. So, sorry. Mitch McConnell said, fuck off. And right now, Mitch McConnell's saying, oh, okay, sure. He can do that. He can. 
and all your butt hurt over it means fuck all. And all your threats, you can't do shit. And I hope, I fervently pray, my final wish is that no Democrat ever gets elected to an office ever again. You don't deserve it at this point. You, you can't threaten me that you're going to just say, fuck your rights. We're just in charge because we feel that's correct. Well, I feel the opposite. So, I don't know what to tell you. But I get to vote still. Like, as long as I still have what little power I do, I'm going to start using it. Uh, fuck you. How about that? I'm going to do everything I fucking can. So, no. I don't appreciate the threats. I, I think it was in the newsroom. <clears throat> I think it was in the newsroom. Yeah. Uh, there's this one part where the, the head muckety muck, the, you know, the anchor, he's meeting with this shitty reporter to like buy her off to kill some lie that she's just going to go out and tell because fuck people, right? So he's essentially buying her off at this shit. And like, he, he writes her out the fucking check, right? And he tears it off and he's so fucking pissed to have to do this but he's doing it anyways because whatever he feels it's the right thing to do so he, he goes to hand the check over to her and as he's like doing all that she goes well hey you know we're journalists right and he stopped and he's like you know what and he's like fuck it I ain't giving you this money <laughs> and he stood up and he said here's what's gonna happen you're not gonna write the story you're going to do it because in the kindness of your heart, you know it would be wrong to write the story. So you're just not going to write it. And if you do, I'm going to bend every effort of the rest of my life into seeing you destroyed. And she's like, wow, what the fuck just happened? And he said, look, I'm a 45-year-old man who's never lived up to his potential. Don't force me to start. That's what I feel right now. I'm a 40-year-old man who has never lived up to his potential. Do not force me to start. Tough-ass speech. But you're not gonna win. Nah, I don't care. I'm just a middle-aged man who never lived up to his potential. You don't want to be on the wrong end of me if I ever do. I got the drinks. <laughs> 